So, spoilers for everyone, of course. Um, in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, it's about a story of Scott vs. Ramona Flowers' evil exes, and in the end, he defeats the evil exes and walks off into the sunset with Ramona. That is the film that we all know, we some of us love, but... As Jambo alludes to there, there was an alternate ending that was filmed, and you can see on the deleted scenes of the Blu-ray edition, which has Scott coming to terms with the fact that he's changed and Ramon has changed. Same scene, same sequence that happens at the end. Yes. Instead, they part ways, amicably but sad. Yes. And he goes off with knives into the sunset. The other, the other direction, different sunset. Moon, in the moon film, he goes off with moonrise. Moon yeah. Moon, yeah. moon, moonrise and sunsets. Yes. Uh, and and the, why did they change it? And the main reason that is cited is that they they put the feelers out for both with pre you know early audience screenings, mm. and the general consensus was, let's go with. The I could flowers. not agree more. Yeah, he didn't like her. Why? The, why would he go with her for the whole film? I found out about this from a, I believe it was a What Culture video, a YouTube channel, do top tens, kind of like a British Watch Mojo, right? And they said, really, they missed an opportunity here to make a more interesting ending where Scott actually learns about himself and does the right thing, going with knives. Is it the right thing? He's no. he's been. She, I feel like one of the things that they do quite well in this film is set up the whole knives thing in such a way where it's clear that she is just a kid who's kind of in her teenage love and she's not really thinking about it at all. And yeah, well, he's too old. He's he's too old. Probably for, too old for her. He's definitely. It's, he's also like she is pretty, a bit of a child. Pretty emotionally manipulative. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's a, he's a bit of a shitbag, and yes. she's she's quite a good person. Absolutely, and I don't care if she's seventeen. She behaves like a fourteen-year-old. She is a child. Yeah, yeah. Like, and so it doesn't make sense. If they, all right. How oh, is that the right thing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's try and give it some. some the justice. right thing is to go with the child. <laughs> what? <laughs> Always go with the child. <laughs> That's a terrible <laughs> policy. What? what? <laughs> Ditch that shit now. What was the point if he went with knives? What was the point in the whole film? Yeah, what was the emotional message? Um, no, no, not like what I'm not saying what was the point as in what was the point? I mean, yeah. let's try and find a point. Well, Knives definitely deserved to get what she wanted she more happiness. than Ramona. Yeah. Okay. R- Ramona was like as a person, like not really that great. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't she, really deserve to get she, anything she, she wanted. Dabbled in being a bitch, yeah, as she said. And then she she came out with a line where I was like God, I hate when people say that. And it was like, oh, oh, yeah, she just left him at the Chris Evans bit, yeah. right? And then he was like, you just left me and then didn't speak to me for days. And she goes, yeah, I do that sometimes. Like, what? Yeah. What the fuck? Do you, you can't just say that after doing, after just fucking leaving someone. Bang on. But the She's only- not a good person. Knives deserves to get what she wants. And you know what? Added to that, Scott Pilgrim's also a shitbag as well. Yes. Like it's alluded to multiple times. They're perfect for each other. That he is basically her equal in terms of fucking people over. Fucking girls over. Because there was the drama as well. Yeah. Which which we know from the times that they refer to it, he wasn't very good about that whole thing with the drummer in the band. Oh yeah, Kim. Sorry, I thought he said the drama. And I was like, "Mm, which drama? Yeah. So he said that time with Kim. Remember when Aubrey Plaza's character, she's the one who has the, um, you know, the scene where she swears and it has the black box. Yes. And she goes through the list of exes whose lives he's basically ruined. And he comes up with an excuse for each one. He's like, me and Kim are fine. And then turns around and she's She's staring daggers at him. Yeah, so he does go on a, a personal growth journey, but so does Ramona, right? By the end, they're both in a position where they're probably better for their experiences in the film. But they're still like... He, he's still not good enough for Knives. And, and <laughs> knives let, is a sweetheart. Yeah, no, yeah, 100%. It's all well and good reaching the end of a story and going, I'm going to change. But until we actually see Scott Pilgrim in another situation where he can... I mean, the guy literally cheated on Knives at the start of this movie. Like, mm. he was still with her when he was round in Ramona's bed. Like, 
Okay, he did... fine. You get to the end of the movie and you're like, oh, yeah, okay. I see the problem my ways. I've changed now. Yeah, maybe till the next time somebody comes along who's really hot and wants you yeah, in their yeah. bed. Let's see then, shall we, Scott? <laughs> yeah, you exactly. You scumbag. <laughs> you piece you of sh- shit, Scott. You, know, you, do, you deserve each other, <laughs> you're, you're a Scott, Ramona. You're a real piece of shit, aren't you? <laughs> um, I th- All right, have you seen the ending? Not the alternate one, but okay. I did see the end of the movie. Yeah. You watched the end of the film? <laughs> yeah, what yeah. did you think? <laughs> I uh, thought it was a bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think that the problem with the real ending is that it's not it, it does fizzle out, not only for the fight, but also their walk off into the sunset to the door and the music still feels very up in the air. They didn't set it up well enough, I don't think. You can tell once, especially once you know that there was this whole thing with the alternate endings. Mm. It did feel like it was like, for, uh, literally until he goes off with Ramona. Yeah. You're like, he's, what the hell, like, who is he going off with here? Is he going off with either of them? Like, uh, yeah. which one am I supposed to want him to go off with? Like, I'm so confused as, mm. the, as the audience right now. So, so I think that's the thing is like, you can look back on it and say, in, <laughs> you know, I sometimes argue like we can come up with ideas, but in practice, you're like, oh, well, that didn't work. But, yes. but the idea is always more beautiful and it works. Yes. Your imagination runs wild. This is actually a, a, identifiable example where they filmed the alternate ending. We've seen the ending. Yes. You might think, that's kind of a bit rubbish how they fizzled out that one. Oh, what if he ended up with knives? That's interesting. That's intriguing. Oh my God, it's how would they do that? Come to life. Yeah. And if you watch it, it's worse. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's also like, that doesn't work. Yeah. It just feels it weird. Set up, it, it just, it's confused. I, re- I mean, I say it jokingly, but I really mean it. Like, it, I do think that they didn't know which one they were setting it up and then mm. what kind of happened is as the audience i was like i don't really know or have a super strong emotional investment in which one of these two he goes off with mm. like i just kind of it, it's it, it's also longer as well so it's the emotional payoff doesn't work they have this weird conversation he goes over to ramona and they're like right i guess it didn't really work did it <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, thanks for that, though. I've learned, oh, yeah, me, I've grown as well. And then they go off. You're like, what the... F- what, yeah. the- what was the point that in all of that? Shit. Yeah, and then we he love walks this off movie. with knives. We love this movie. Yeah. But that was shit. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, I think just ending generally on this one. Should have been 90 minutes, shouldn't it? I tell you, one of the reasons as well that I don't like the ending was the... It felt like such a disappointment that he had done all this work to beat mm. all these exes, and then they start going separate ways. And I'm like, what was the point? Like, yeah. come on. Like, it just felt so. It felt like we've wasted time a little bit, you mm. know? I guess I didn't buy Scott's change enough to uh, make it feel worth they, it. They were obviously trying to lend credence to the fact that he did it for himself. Yeah. You know how it changes from I'm doing it for love to I'm doing it for self respect. Yes. Like, okay, that's a good motivator, I guess. And now they have to be like, No, he really was doing it for self respect. Yeah. Actually <laughs> hold hold the fort. He probably should go with her as well. I tell but then you they what, turn it's about and both. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then and then you're like as the audience, you're like, what the fuck's going on? The ending of this movie really is the the, the thing that stops it from being yeah. exception, like an exceptional film but what did you think we, we've we rambled on about how this could have been shorter let's cut us off before we, yes. we elongate this any longer than necessary thank you so much for listening we'll see you on the next one lovely stuff bye bye